In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a MySQL DB in a virtual machine and connect it or access it remotely from anywhere. So let's get started. For this video, I have created a really base configuration Ubuntu virtual machine or droplet. You can use it any provider. We just need a virtual machine with shell access. I've used DigitalOcean. You can use AWS, Azure, GCP, or Linode, any other cloud provider. And for the sake of this video, we're going to use remote SSH and VS Code extension. It's hell of an amazing extension. It lets me use VS Code's power inside a virtual machine. So install it on your VS Code on your machine. So let's begin. I'm going to copy my IP address of the VM. I'm going to go to my VS Code. Just open any window. Press Ctrl Shift P. Connect to host. I'm like showing it from the start. I'm going to do SSH root at the rate root is your root user my ip address my key path ssh key path and i am adding it to my config now we would connect It takes a few minutes. So yeah, here is our Visual Studio code opened inside a virtual machine with the terminal features, the file system, and a lot of other stuff. Let's begin. This virtual machine is using Ubuntu, but similar set of instruction works with any other operating system too. Let's begin. First, we're going to do a sudo app update. Then we're going to install MySQL server. Well, MySQL is installed. Now we would just enter the command sudo mysql if it works it great it means mysql is running if it doesn't for more surety just run this command sudo systemctl start mysql.service so that it just starts for mysql now we are going to enter the mysql shell we are here in the shell now we first we are going to add a password for the root user so enter this sql query alter user root at the rate localhost password by and just enter your password like which you want to keep i'm using this and complete the query now just try now exit from the shell and just try again the sudo mysql it doesn't work we have to use the password even for as a root user so we have to type mysql dash u root dash p enter my password and then i'm in the shell if you want that sudo mysql behavior again identified by identified with mysql just run this query like go to your mysql shell again run this query alter user root at the rate localhost identified with auth socket uh, if i exit again do sudo mysql it works it's totally a security thing and what are your preferences now 
let's create our root user which is going to connect from a remote machine or or you on your local machine let's enter the mysql shell and we are going to create a new user type the query create user your username anything the read and for the host we are going to keep it wildcard identified by and just simple like any password well i am just keeping it simple for the sake of the tutorial and yeah i've created a user i'm going to grant it some privileges now see i for the sake of this video i am giving this user all the privileges like a root user but you can look into and customize the privileges now flush privileges now i have created my the user the mysql user now i'm going to exit the shell now one more thing we have to do is edit the mysql configuration file present on this machine so it is present in the etc folder we're going to go there sudo nano slash etc slash mysql mysql.conf.t mysql t.cnf we are here now we have to find this bind address yes this and we have to change it to zero dot zero dot zero control o control x file is edited let me just double check yeah it is edited now our bind address is updated now i am just going to restart my sql so that yeah now we are going to connect to this mysql db i'm going to close my well we are again on my local machine this is not the virtual machine where we have created the mysql db and done some configuration now this is my local machine i have installed an extension called sql tools which is an see it's a really simple extension to connect with sql database is another so with the database which we have made we are going to connect it now so let's enter my sql average dev in the server address add your ip database is my sql username is average dev or whatever you have entered and password is ask on connect you're going to test it it works let's save this connection now we are going to connect to this yeah now let's like let's just create a database database hello show databases it created that hello databases now use hello now let's refresh it and we have in hello with an user table with this configuration now to 
make things more sure i'm going to ssh into my vm sudo mysql show databases we have the hello database test database same like here Shit. and if i use use hello show tables we have the user tables so it works and this is how you create a mysql database in a virtual machine and connect it remotely and i am going to make an postgres video too soon and also and well here's for the last part of the video i am providing you with two different types of backup backup scripts for like cloud backups the scripts which i have provided to the back do backups and for the last seven days and you can configure it so these are the scripts let's provide the appropriate permission to the script files so that they are executed by the cron job properly yes now let's create a, a cron job We are going to add the path for both the scripts. Hash. The scripts run at 12 a.m. according to UTC time zone. Control O, Control X. in cron top dash l to check whether it runs or not and it's going to run now obviously you have to install azure cli or aws cli add your credentials and all but this is the script you can use to back up your mysql db data on on either aws s3 or azure blob storage Hope this video helps you like, share, subscribe, comment, peace.